Okay, y'all, so while I am here, I wanted to um, just go over, you know, again, so we're on this journey. My name is Coach Vaughn, for those of you who may not know me, and I am a pastor, um, and I am an up-and-coming entrepreneur. Uh, I'm still, in my opinion, and even though one of the challenge is, challenges in becoming an entrepreneur is that you don't know when things are going to take off the way that you want to take off, right? And it's one of those things where you almost have to have a commitment to continually learning, continually growing, continually building yourself um, and, and, and finding out what you don't know. Or sometimes it's just about how can you be consistent with what you do know, all right? Um, and so I'm constantly learning, constantly trying to elevate, etc. So I just wanted to show you all even though I'm here, um, you know, this is the eighth day that I've been here in this hotel uh, for this particular um, uh, uh, event that I've been asked to help out with, um, speak for, and do some work with some children for. And it's been a blessing. But I want to show you that even as I'm, you know, away from home, I'm still concerned with making these videos for y'all, okay? I'm still concerned with other, you know, uh, developing myself so to speak and so I wanted to show you all what I mean by that so I'm still reading books of course so here's one book that I'm reading excellent book okay it's called confidence how winning streaks and losing streaks begin and end by a, a lady named Rosabeth Moss Cantor um, and I think she's been like a, a CEO of some top companies or uh, that and she's worked for um, Harvard Business Review which is funny because one of the other books here is actually by the Har Harvard Business Review right but what this book is about again confidence this book is about uh, really how confidence affects your momentum and she uses a lot of sports examples and so she shows how like when you your confidence is important because when you're confident, other people become confident in you. And when other people, or for businesses, if your business is confident and other people invest in your business, then when your business is confident and other people become confident in your business or in you as an individual, they are willing to invest in you. And when people are willing to invest in you and when businesses are willing to invest in you, then guess what? You become even more confident, which allows them to become more confident in you and continue investing in you, so, you know, so on and so forth. It's not, of course, it doesn't work that way each and every time, but a lot of times it works that way. And so this, the, the, what you also have to be careful of is that the reverse is also true. So when you are losing confidence, when you're losing, people stop having confidence in you. Businesses stop having confidence in you. And so what begins to happen is that, is that they stop investing resources into you, which then causes you to not be confident even more, to be even less confident, I guess I should say. And then they become even less confident, so they invest less. And it's a weird phenomenon because if you even see it in sports teams, like the losing teams, the teams that have a history of losing are actually the teams that need fans to come out even more and support them even more but what happens the fans don't come out right the 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 companies don't invest as much in them the other you know uh sneaker companies or what have you don't invest inside those players more and so those players lose more and more confidence and so all of a sudden that team even though you would think that this is a team that should have lots of money, this team ends up being a team that doesn't go as far as it maybe could, even when it has some of the players that we heard in college were the top players and talented, right? So that's a good book for y'all to pick up and read. Another book that I'm reading, like I said, this one is from the Harvard Business, uh, is Harvard Business Review, Harvard Business Essentials, but it's called Managing Projects large and small, the fundamental skills for delivering on budget and on time. So this book I, I picked up because one of the things my father has always um, admonished me the past couple of years is to look into project management. And uh, that's become an up, up and coming industry, a very large industry. And even if it's, if it's not necessarily your career, it's important to understand how to, how to manage projects even for your life. Um, 
you know, uh, how to put a, a, a goals together, how to, what are the goals for the project, what are the specific things that this project wants to accomplish, what's the budget that's going to be required, and how to plan for all of those things so that you end your projects for your life or for your business on time and, um, and on budget. Okay, so that might be something that's good for y'all to read, but if you don't choose to read it, it's something that I'm doing. I'm just trying to show you how I'm trying to develop as a pastor, as a, as a, a brand new entrepreneur. Um, these are just things that I'm trying to do, okay? And again, this is on top of my prayers in the morning or what have you, my studying my Bible every single morning, right? So of course, I'm not just relying on these books, but I don't want you to just be praying and I don't want you to just be uh, meditating and reading the Bible, but you're not learning the other things that you need to learn in order to have the success that you want academically or the success that you want as in your relationships or the success that you want as an entrepreneur or as in your career, etc. So this is another book that I have called, um, this is by, by um, Gary Vaynerchuk, and he's an amazing entrepreneur, right? And I haven't gotten into this one yet, but I plan to. That's why I've been bringing it around. I've been trying to finish these first and then get into this. But it says, the name of the book is Ask Gary V. One Entrepreneur's Take on Leadership, Social Media, and Self-Awareness, and Winning Marketing, Venture Capital, Arbitrage, Digital Media, Influencers, Company Culture, Startups, Attention, Content, Management, Empathy, Legacy, Parenting, Family Business, Crushing, Storytelling, Thanking, Jabbing, Right Hooking, Hustling, and the New York Jets, right? And some of y'all, if y'all know who Gary Vaynerchuk is, y'all understand why he has all of that stuff in there, but he's just great, a great entrepreneur that we all can learn a whole lot from. So again, I'm not just relying on what, oh, before I even get into that. So here's my own notebook, right? So this is where I take notes and daily I'm taking notes, right? And this is really my backup notebook. My other notebook is thicker than this with a whole lot more information, right? So I'm not just relying on my memory for everything, okay? I'm writing everything down, I'm writing ideas down, I'm writing my successes, I'm writing my failures down as I learn, okay? Um, and then, of course, we got the iPad, you know, where I also put some of my ideas and stuff like that down. But usually when I'm speaking, that's when I use, I'll have my iPad up there with me. But I'm actually learning to like the, to use the, um, my notebook. I like having my notebook up when I'm speaking. Um, anything else that I wanted to share? Oh, so I'm not, those books kind of have to do with like my career or what I want to be my career and my entrepreneurship, but I also read books on relationships. One of the relationship books that I'm reading right now is The Weight by Devon Franklin and Megan Good. Um, that's an excellent book. Um, you know, other books like The Five Love Languages, great books for y'all to read. So, um, anything else that I want to get off my brain to y'all? Man, I think that'll do for this video. Okay, so um, if y'all have any questions about anything that I shared or if there's anything that I can help you with, anything that y'all have questions for me as a new entrepreneur on or as an up-and-coming entrepreneur on, if there's any questions that you have for me as a pastor, uh, if there are any questions that you have for me um, that I can help you out with my relationship story, um, you know, feel free to ask, post it down, um, you know, just ask, and I'll do what I can to help you. Peace.